what a great way to experience New Zealand produce and it was just amazing. So thank you. I really enjoyed this. The dough's not working. As I start rolling my pasta dough, I realise that the dough is not as silky as I wanted and it doesn't matter how many times I run it through the rollers, it's not getting to the consistency I want. I'm not gonna make tortellini, I'm gonna change that. I th we, we can do the tortellini. Has the mixture been made, the filling? Uh, no. Okay, never mind. Take a breath, guys, it's okay, take a breath. In the last minutes of this cook, there is no time to fold tortellini, and I'm having to rethink my plan. And I set on hand cutting parpadelli. Can you take the duck off the bone? Is it going to be enough? Uh, yeah, just chop it up real fine. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's done. And I need that. I need the flour. I need the flour, please. Rudy, are just you going to be ready, Rudy? Yep, just Come about on, Rudy, done. you can do it. Come on, we're you just guys about can done. do it. These things happen, and MasterChef often tests how quickly can you think on your feet, can you change yep. tack, and I've got lots of faith in you guys. You're all fantastic cooks. Thank you. So all we're looking together. forward to trying this amazing pasta dish, whatever it is. It's going to be delicious. I think Rudy's taken on a little bit more than he can chew at this point, but with such limited time left, we just have to push through till the end and light up what we can. We're officially in the danger zone. You have five minutes. You should be plating three courses. Come on, let's do it. How are you going? I can give you a hand if you need. The chimichurri is so good. This just needs to sit and I'm gonna throw the oil in right at the end. You yeah, bloody beauty. Yeah, I'm going to plate the beetroot on tray. So I've got to make sure this looks absolutely stunning. Opinion on sauce, please. I reckon, and the peach. Okay. Sam, what thoughts about carving the lamb? Really? Yeah, so then we can stack it. And the lamb is absolutely perfect. I'm feeling confident that we might actually have a chance of getting the immunity. We've got a shot of this. They always say if the meat is cut like that, that you need I'll more seasoning on it. I've seasoned it three times. Like okay. Cool. Great. Alice, does this look all right? Yeah, it looks fantastic. Fab. That looks amazing. Both Naomi and I had a bit of criticism about our plating. So we really, really want to prove ourselves today. And here comes the truffle oil. Yeah, just a dribble, just, just a dribble. Just really keep gentle. You have two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes to pull this together. You can do it. OK, let's get the lamb on. Guys, I'm plating up dessert. OK, it's my hands, they're shaking. We're rushing round, finishing off that dish is so stressed. Yeah, it's it's hitting the fan. Three or four, should I do one more? No, that looks good like that. OK. 30 seconds to go. Come on, you can do it. Where did that dish go? Where did that dish go? 10 seconds, 9, 8, oh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. one! Step away from the bench. You are done. Great Woo! job, guys. Holy <laughs> shit. We were also in our own zones. I know, we were, but we did it. Well done, you. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> it was hectic. hectic. It was full on, but I think we got all the elements we were planning. Yeah, couldn't ask for better teammates. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's so nice. <laughs> oh, my heart is warm. <laughs> the girls and I, we've worked so well together and we've just had a ball. We've got the flavours there, we've got the right level of presentation. Getting immunity would be fantastic. So we're really interested to hear what the judges think. Wow, that 60 minutes just flew past. But what an incredible team effort. So proud of you guys. You all worked so well. And you all got three dishes plated up. Now let's see if they make the grade. All right, Stone Team, Naomi, Jason and Alice, come on up. Naomi, talk me through who did what. Jason has made the entree, crispy skin salmon with a small side of fresh pickle. I have made the main, which is freshly made pappadelli pasta, and Alice has made a lovely dessert, a beautiful olive cake with some pickled plum, pumpkin seed brittle, cream fresh on the side, with orange zest. Salmon is a really nice dish to get as an appetizer when you're flying, I feel, because it's nice and light. Jason, last time I did give you a little bit of a rev about the way you plated it. Obviously, you've taken that on board. You have some really nice knife work, some little petit brinoise with a the carrot. There's different colours, green, orange. Well, this looks way better than last time. Thank you.
Jason, that salmon was beautifully cooked, beautiful plating, well done. It's nice and light, which is a great way to start your meal. Perfectly cooked salmon, like the broad bean smash underneath, could have done with a little bit more acid, but then with the pickle, you got the acid through there, so that was really lovely, and a nice light way to start the meal. The salmon, it's cooked perfectly. It's a fresh dish, it's, it looks to me like a great appetizer on a plane. I think if I was on a flight to Fiji next week, I would love eating that. The pasta's looking good. I was impressed, Naomi, you busted that out. It looked like you had a lot of confidence in the pasta today, and also, it looks like you've been working on your plating a little bit. <laughs> I have. Because <laughs> this looks way better than the last thing you gave me. The pasta first impression looks uniform, nice and thin, looks delicate. It definitely looks inviting. So this is like a pappadelle carbonara? Yeah. yeah. Good. Naomi, you can make pasta, girl. Pasta. Have you been practicing? I have been practicing. You can tell. I saw you rolling that pasta and I was like, sheesh, that's looking really nice and thin. Like you could see the light shining through it. That's a sign of nice, light, silky pasta. I will say, when it comes to Italian food, I'm a little bit of a purist. For example, the salad, I would have just gone rocket and that's it, rather than fennel and orange and the orange juice and the onion and everything, I don't think it needs it. Pappardelle, maybe a little bit too rich. I would say just gear back a little bit. I think there was a few little seasoning issues. I think, remember, when you have something powerful like mushrooms in that bacon, you're already gonna have some salt there. I think it was a little bit over-seasoned, but I love the courage. I love seeing you have fun doing it. Nice job. Dessert time. Let's get into this Manuka honey creation. The dessert for me brings it home, that's delicious. I love the olive oil in it. I love the acidity of the plums. The manuka is shiny, little texture of the brittle. We all know that you're a wonderful baker. You have such a strong hand. Wonderful, the manuka. I love that little orange and the plums. It was really well balanced. Yeah, we'd love to get this in business premiere. It just was really joyous to eat, to have the New Zealand flavors of the manuka honey. For me, I can imagine getting on board an aircraft and feeling like I was going home, but for somebody from overseas visiting. What a great way to experience New Zealand produce and it was just amazing. So thank you. I really enjoyed this. As a team, I really like how the menu went. You had the, the fresh salmon, you got the rich pappardelle with the side. Finishing on a kind of acidic, sweet dessert. I think in the forms of like a plain menu, I think you hit that one on the nail. Like Vaughn pointed out, it was a fantastic story. Yeah, nice job, guys. I was quite chuffed with Nadia's comment that, that I can make pasta. I had a quick vision of me owning a little pasta shop. <laughs> I think we've done well enough today to, you know, maybe knock those advantage guys off their pedestal.